All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. Yes, uh, I promise when I say we don't, they bring on all the best of entertainment from the top stories to our newspaper review with Ezuku Chukudi. And we're moving straight to a good conversation that we promised you. We're going to be talking to a very, very exceptional individual. Her name is Rachel Anthony. Yes, uh, she is a commercial model, an actor, multi-talented entrepreneur, and all sorts. Uh -huh. So, but uh, she's here with me today on the Good Morning Ninja Show. How are you doing today, Rachel? Rachel? Hello, good morning, Adewo. Good mm. morning, Nigeria. Yes, so <laughs> it's good to have you today on the show. Hope we didn't budge into your early morning process. Well, I had to leave the house early today, so okay. getting ready early was not a big deal. It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> Okay, yeah. well, like we always do, uh, I always get to ask my guests uh, this question because we know when a pandemic, a lot of things have changed, you know, uh, unexpected things happen. So we like to ask our guests, how are you? Honestly, tell us the truth. How are you actually, really? Are you good? To be very honest, I'm fantastic mm. because um, this period has made me reflect on so many things. I've had like, a lot of paradigm shift. I've mm. thought about, you know, what if I had coronavirus? You know, yeah, yeah. what would become of me? But instead, God has kept me till this very moment. So I can only be grateful. So to be very honest, I'm hopeful. I'm looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to all this being over and to, you know, keep prospering. I like that. <laughs> so do you think we're ever going to go back to the regular? our former life, or we just continue from here? What do you think? No, it's a new life. It's a new life. No. Like Obviously, we can't. No. <laughs> it's going to be a new life. It's, mm. not, it's not going to be like before. It can't. I mean, what do you think? Do you think it's going to be like before? Nah, looking at the situation, we're moving forward. <laughs> exactly. We're moving forward. That's we're what moving it is. forward. It's good. Yeah. All right. So it's good to have you today on the show. We said we should have a conversation with you because uh, there's a lot of things going on in the in the country right now. And let's hear from a perspective of uh, someone like yourself. You know, you're a, a commercial model. You're an actor. You do uh, all these things. Now, I would like to know, before we go into the conversation properly, let's even get, uh, let people get to see what you have done. So we're going to be playing a couple of clips right now just to uh, launch who Rachel Anthony is. So let's take a look at this, and when we come back, we have our conversation. Okay, so we said we should launch uh, the introduction with that. Now, that is a side of you, that's a side of you that uh, you also good at. So uh, before we go into this conversation, now tell us how many sides of Rachel are there? The acting, the model, let's know. Tell us so that we can, you know, expand our conversation. Um, I feel like I wear different hats. I am a model. Mm -hmm. I was first a beauty queen. I started my journey being a beauty queen first. Okay. And then afterwards, I, you know, I've always had a passion for acting. I've always wanted to be an actor because there's something about being an actor. You get to be different people mm -hmm. in different certain times in your life. So that was something I was fascinated about. So I, you know, um, before I became officially an actress, I worked with an online Pan-African radio station okay. called iGroove. Um, they've moved to Kenya now. So um, I learned a lot in the radio broadcasting sector. Okay. And um, afterwards, I told myself, you know what, stop pushing your dream away. You need to, you know, jump on that acting boat and mm -hmm. explore you know, explore the, that part of your life. So I went to an acting school because as an actor, you have to be trained no matter what. Yeah, you know, totally. You get some level of training here yeah. and there, you know, brush up your skills and all that. So I went to an acting school. It's called Royal Arts Academy in mm -hmm. Surulere here in Lagos. And uh, it was a fantastic experience. I, at the end of the program, I even bagged an award. Oh, and nice. That made me I was like, okay, okay, since I have an award now, that's like a, a push for me to, mm -hmm. to show me that I'm in the right direction. So, you know, afterwards I got into the industry, did a couple of movies here and there. And I told myself, oh, what is industry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like probably <laughs> It's kind of food the bills. You know, you have to do something on the other side yes. you know, to give yourself, you know, some extra 
in Pompouche. And then I, I, I started a business. I started a hair business, and um, it's been good so far. It's been it's been great. Hmm. I work with my sister. She's into real estate. She has boutique. She has her own coffee brand. So I'm a businesswoman, basically. I, I like that. <laughs> so it's, it's you're, you're like a serial entrepreneur. You're making things exactly. happen in different places. Exactly. Interesting. I'm in the film industry. I not only want to be an actress i see myself as a filmmaker okay i see myself as um as someone who aside being in front of the camera i would also love to be behind the camera so hmm. i call myself a filmmaker. a filmmaker what we just watched some minutes ago i produced it and um it's it's my production company that produced that and oh, I'm, nice. I'm super excited it's a nice. series i'm super excited for it to be out there on air for everyone to watch. That's so. good. So you, we, we can now say you're a filmmaker, right? We can we can yes. say that officially. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Now, yes. Uh, I see that you 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 made a statement about how that the industry uh, wouldn't doesn't foot the bill, like you said. Oh, yes. The industry was, <laughs> ah, you could look at it, ah, the money where they make for you, be like, say, you know, go to... Pull work. Pull work, you know, go to work like that. So you had to put, go, get into other streams of income. Now, why would you say this is a problem? Why do you think this is a situation in the industry? Like, looking at how much uh, the industry puts in creating content and... Financially, it's not uh, uh, quantifiable as much as how much work you put in. Why do you think this is a problem? I, to be very honest, yeah, I really don't know the actual problem. Hmm. <laughs> but from what I've observed, I just feel like they don't give enough credit to the actors. Okay. That's what I feel like. I mean, I feel like they don't give us enough time. They focus more on the production itself, mm -hmm. you know, the location, the this, the that, you have to pay the crew, and, and everybody forgets the actor at the end of the day, mm. forgetting that for a movie to be fantastic and to be brilliant, you have to take care of your actors, no matter what, like, they are the backbone of your production. Exactly. Regardless, mm -hmm. do you understand? So I just feel like, Production companies here in Nigeria, except a few, I've worked with a few production companies that mm -hmm. I was very satisfied. And um, the rest, I mean, they just call you because they feel you're passionate about your job. You will show up and show out and give your best regardless. Yeah. Or, I mean, I've made that mistake as well, being a producer. I wouldn't even lie to you. I just call my friends and I say, oh, come, let's do this. And let's, you know, because you're my friend, mm -hmm. you help me out. But then as I... You know, kept going into the business, I realized that it's not going to work this way. You have to give your actors a hundred percent of what they deserve. Mm. Do you understand? And I feel like it's something that needs to be changed in the industry. To be very honest. I like for, that. I like that. I like the fact actors that actors to be fine and okay and happy mm -hmm. doing our jobs. Yeah, I like we that. need to be taken care of. So, <laughs> so lo looking at all these things you do. Uh, from modeling to acting to uh, being owning a business of yours, which would you say you find so much? Uh, which one would you say you are really, really involved in? Which one gets to you more? Which one would you say, if I was to pick one, if I had to pick one of them, which would you pick? Filmmaking. Filmmaking. <laughs> Ah, yeah. So you don't want to be the businesswoman that is making the money again. You want to do filmmaking. Well, I mean, I feel like that is not even a problem for me, to be very honest. Okay. Because I feel like filmmaking is something that I am extremely passionate about. All right. And if you're passionate about something, your fruits will definitely yield. That's what I believe in, regardless. Mm. So um, filmmaking is my baby like i can't see myself if they tell me choose between filmmaking mm -hmm. and then or choose your business mm -hmm. i'm going to choose filmmaking okay that's what i'm going to do because it's my passion i might be doing my business and making the money but i might not be happy yeah at the end of the day yeah but filmmaking is something that gives me joy acting is something that gives me joy and i'm mm. like you know what i'd rather die happy than die rich and sad Hmm. That's what I do in. So we just do the business, you know. I love doing business as well. I learned it from my mother. My mother was a strong hustler. Hmm. But still, like, I believe that, you know, I would follow my passion in a second if I'm asked if 
you know, to choose, what to choose. I like that. So, so which means you have come in uh, situations where they tell you, I ah, want you to act, or we don't have money. Follow your passion and do it for us. What will you do? I've done it so many times. We've done it now. You've done a lot of that. Uh -huh. So, because a lot of people don't know that, at least at the beginning, year. at the beginning, you have to do some free job. No, exactly. Time. But uh -huh. I told myself this year, I'm like, you know what, Rachel, you are not going to keep doing free stuff for anybody anymore. It's done. It's over. Set me. We passed <laughs> last day. Do it fast. Right now, if you're calling me for a job, you have to have money in your pocket. If not, hmm. I'm sorry, man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come on your set. <laughs> That's very not sad except, news for some people. There's always an exception, though. There's always an exception. Okay. Except I know you're not trying to rip me off. Yeah. And we're both passionate about the project. And I know that you do not have genuinely. Okay. Then I can show up for you. Okay. But if I know you have, and you're just trying to be smart, because you feel like I'm not a celeb celeb in court. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just call her. She'll come because she's passionate. Yeah. Ah, that one chance. No, no go work, Abby. No go work. It's <laughs> okay, so now let's look at uh, let's look at the Nigerian film industry. The fact that you are in it and you're passionate about filmmaking in Nigeria, uh, mm -hmm. in par with the international uh, our international c c counterparts. Now, uh, we, if we say Hollywood, would that be going above you know above board? Let's keep it to probably Nollywood and Bollywood. I don't know. Do you think our with, with the way we are going? We are moving as you know fast enough to be able to catch up with these international uh, companies that also yes. produce films. Of course, we are. Hmm. Definitely, we are. Because I'll give an, I'll give an exact I'll give a reason why I say so. Okay. Um, I watch Netflix here. Yeah? Okay. And um, I've seen some shitty movies mm -hmm. on Netflix that can't even be compared to the productions that we make in Nigeria. In Nigeria, here. yeah. So, I mean, looking at how far we've come from when I've admired to be in the industry till this very moment, we are far ahead, honestly. And to be very honest with you, people over there in Hollywood mm. or Bollywood are dying to be in our production. Yeah. Honestly, they are dying to be, they want to take something from us or to, you know, to recreate and make their own over there. Mm -hmm. So we are doing a good job. That's great. That's great. It's good yeah. to know. It's good to know. You seeing that you are in the industry, you can tell firsthand from firsthand experience because a lot of times uh, people still complain that some of our stories are recycled. That uh, we don't have, we don't come up with uh, fresh stories. We either look to the Western world to get a story and recreate it, or we just recycle our love stories, our babalao and uh, uh, yeah. wicked stepmother stories, our uh, witchcraft <laughs> stories. So what do you think? What do you have to say? But this is our culture at the end of the day. Like, what? I don't know how else to explain <laughs> it to you, but I believe this is our culture. I feel like the only thing that we lack yeah. is proper set designing set design okay yeah for our productions that's what i believe because mm. we're all humans whatever happens in america happens in nigeria it's just that this is nigeria you mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. so um we are more cultured like for example we have the ankara prince mm -hmm. we have our culture we have mm -hmm. beads we have you know so many things that can portray us to be africans to yeah. the western world yeah. but sometimes we skip it in productions when you know we skip having those elements in production so when you watch a random production on tv you feel like you're watching something western but if you put elements of you know our culture the artwork mm -hmm. the beads the ankara you know i feel like it would make people you know people would want to watch and say okay this looks african this looks like it's a you know it's a nigerian production mm -hmm. or it's a kenyan production yeah. or it's a south african production compared to when you just make a random movie with just your you know random outfit and mm -hmm. no purpose designing and when they watch they say oh just another nollywood movie yeah so yeah so i feel like we have a lot to learn in terms of production. Now, I would, I, would, I would pick up a conversation from the fact that you said our set is usually some of our issues, that we don't, we're not really good at that, yeah. But yeah. Uh, in, in, in this regard, is that why uh, we, we probably get to shoot 
our uh, movies in one week, we shoot one film or two movies in one week or three movies at the same time or in two weeks because we just don't want to change two more sets. We just use one set to shoot two films and everybody move forward. A abroad, we can use three months, six months to shoot a movie. Or in Nigeria. I don't, think, I don't even think that's the case anymore. Even in the abroad right now, people shoot movies in a week. Okay. Gone are those days where, except it's like a fantastic budget, and you know you have the resources. Hey, but in Nigeria, our big budget, our years. big budget in Nigeria is roughly around. If you say the budget is plenty, probably 10, 15 million, 20 million. Big budget, yeah. all those kind of budgets uh, for movie, or 15 million to, to 20 to 30 million. But they yeah. still rush the, 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 the production in two weeks. You cannot compare the production quality in terms of how things work there to Nigeria. Yeah. Yes, we have light issues. Okay, number one. They're very strong. Come on, when you are shooting. Yes. So many issues, like your equipment are not even compared to what they use over there yep you know there's so many things that we can't even be begin to bring to the table to compare you know our production quality and that of the western world like the american yeah. the rest of the countries you can't compare because we struggle i'm saying this because i've been on both ends yeah as an actor and as a producer we all struggle to get things done in nigeria here and it includes the industry as well so you can have a budget of 50 million for example and before you finish spending the budget you realize that you're spending it on generator you're mm -hmm. spending it on fuel you're spending it on location yeah. you're spending it on, you know food you're spending it on so many things that should have been avoided in the first place but you see yourself spending your money on it mm -hmm. so by the time your production is done and you sit down and you say oh god we spent two weeks on this production what did we achieve yeah are you going to post-production you're hearing generator noise at the back when you're editing mm -hmm. it's it, it's it's really frustrating so i don't even think i would want to compare the production quality over there and with what we have here we try despite mm -hmm. everything we come out with sometimes yeah we come out it's fantastic production. Other times we learn from our mistakes and we brush it up and make it better in the next production. So we are, we are, we're trying. Now, we're there's, trying. there's this That's other great. argument that they say the reasons why we record our movies uh, in a short time is because of the request of the, of, of, of the people. They don't want to you know, create a space where we don't have movies out. Like someone who wants to drop a part one of a movie He's already shooting a part two so that it comes out in the next uh, one week or two weeks or three weeks or one month. Yeah. They, they, like, yeah. You see, this, this is their, their own argument, that the reason why they do that is so that they always give you movies back to back. Now, let's also remember that there are some big series or movies worldwide that they only drop uh, is, um, one of the parts in a year. In two years, <laughs> they drop part two. Yeah. In the next yeah, one year, they drop at three. And we wait yeah. to watch it. You understand? We still I wait to watch it. So is this um, excuse strong enough? Or is it that if your content is good, your crowd will wait for you? Yes, I, I believe that. I totally believe that. And um, like I said, it's something that we need to put in consideration when producing a movie. Mm -hmm. In the industry, I agree with you, most producers and most filmmakers rush to put content out there. Mm -hmm. And that's because I feel like Nigerians are so eager to be entertained. Okay. I don't know what that means. Maybe they're trying to avoid some certain realities in Nigeria here. Yeah. yeah. You know, the situation in our country. Yeah. I feel like and the entertainment industry gives Nigerians peace and joy. Totally. Let's be real at this <laughs> Totally. We do a whole lot in bringing smiles to their faces. And sometimes, you know, we we as filmmakers get eager. Okay, let's put something out there. Let's please them. Let's, you know, make them happy. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then I feel like because we're extremely creative, we just want to keep making content upon content upon content. We're still learning. We're growing. We're, yeah. you know, practicing. Yeah. And me, I would call it practicing. To, to where we get to that stage that we say, okay, we can make one movie and then wait for, you know, another year before we make another sequel and then like yeah. that, like that. We're still practicing. We're still getting 
the hang of it. That's okay. what I believe. So Based it's, on the fantastic it's something, we, that something you believe will grow into, right, with time. Exactly, exactly. Hmm. Hmm. I like that. Okay, so uh, it's good that we're having this conversation about movies because, yes, you're a filmmaker now. You're a filmmaker, and we're speaking from that perspective as an actor yeah. and, and, and a producer also. Uh, but as an actor now, let's talk as an actor. Is there any kind of script you reject? If they give you a script and look at it, you are going to do something, something, something that you don't like. What kind of script do you reject, first of all? Um, to be very honest, I don't know. I, I can't, I haven't. The only reason why I would reject the script is because of the quality, the production quality. Okay. Who is producing? Who do we have on, on you know, who are the actors? Okay. Are they good? Are they, as, do they match my level of, you know, character interpretation because yeah. that's one thing again in the industry about acting you know you have to so if you acting with a good actor is different from acting with just a an actor yeah you understand? So me i'm always how what's the word i'm always um should i say ginger i'm always yeah. you know we got to act with someone who is fantastic and who loves who's passionate about what they are the they character do. they are playing, yeah. you know, because it makes me bring my own character to life more. Mm -hmm. So I, I pick these things out. The production quality good is who is who is directing, and mm -hmm. what are you paying me? All mm -hmm. these things, okay. you know, put into consideration before I yeah. say, okay, I want to be involved in this project. I turn down a lot of scripts, funny enough, but not because um of the, the story the story might be good but i don't just see myself playing the character okay not because the character isn't fantastic i've played a house help i've played a a, a sugar baby i've mm. played a housewife i've played the best friend mm -hmm. i've played and i even got a script yesterday to you know to come read for a an inspector. So I play. Oh, nice, Inspector Rachel. Any, That's good. Any, <laughs> I would play any role. I would play yeah. any role as long as you know it tickles my fancy at that very mm. moment. You know, so. I like that. I like that. Now this yeah. question is uh, on uh, popular request because a lot of people say eh, we are not really sure what happens after they say cut, move on. Now. Uh, for <laughs> actors who are acting together, because like you say, they're very passionate about what you do, right? And if you want to always bring your A game to 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 a, to a character, now uh, yeah. if you are if you have a love interest in a in a movie or in a situation where you have a love interest and you guys are quite very very close, according to the story, does that mm -hmm. also sometimes reflect after they say cut, or has it ever happened before that from the movie? You guys are not seeing going to do shopping, going to take pictures, you are chilling. Let's know. Let's talk. See, see, let's talk like nobody is listening to us. It's just me and you. Has it happened before? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be very honest. Yeah. I did a series um, in 2018 okay. for a production company. And in that series, I had a love interest with... A married man. Okay. So after the series, all of a sudden, I find myself in a party, and there's this married man <laughs> that was married and did not tell me he was married. Wow. <laughs> so I find my I, I found myself like you know, drawing close up to him, hmm. talking to him. You know, I was fascinated. I'm like, okay, you know, now normal. Normal, normal. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, we exchange phone numbers, and then the next day, I get a text message, and we're chatting, and then he was like, "Oh, by the way, I'm married." Okay. In my mind, I'm like, "Um, sorry, okay. what just happened? This just feels <laughs> like I'm acting a part two of what I did. This just feels like I just I'm reacting what I just played, the character mm. I just played, but it's not about to happen in real life, anyways. But mm. so it was. That was the end of the journey with the dude for me wow. <laughs> and then, you know like i believe because as actors we immerse ourselves into our characters yeah that we become that character like we are no longer who we are in reality we become that particular character so i mean i would understand if some real emotions or real feelings you know generate mm. 
during the period of shooting with your co-actors mm -hmm. and all that. But mm -hmm. now it's your job as an actor once again to snap out of it. It's as simple as ABC. If you feel like, oh, okay, we're done. It's a, it's a wrap on this production. It might take you a day or two or even a week. Depends on how you immerse yourself in that character. Yeah. It will take you, you know, that period to get yourself out of it, to become who you are mm -hmm. in reality. So it just, it depends. It honestly depends. I mean, I've fought feelings before for an actor, so I wouldn't even like. Mm. <laughs> but it's just how you snap yourself out of it that matters at the end. So it was of the day. was it easy for you to snap out of it, or you had to course, gather like, friends course. and family to snap you out? <laughs> 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 of course it is. It's so easy. It's easy to snap out. It's mm. easy. It's all good. It's, I just wanted to ask, because people were saying, ah, usually we see this abroad where uh, an actor and actress were probably on the set for a very long time. Next thing, they are married. Next thing, they are having children. And, you know, from there, the family goes on. So okay. we just wanted to be sure that okay. happens here also. Yeah, it does. It does. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, Rachel, it's been good talking to you this morning. And, uh, yes, uh, oh, we've been able... Yeah, it's, unfortunately, we have to go. Unfortunately, we have to go, but uh, for the movie coming out, uh, we would like to uh, know when uh, to expect it or and if people can, how they can follow you on social media. Let's, uh, let's know about that. Uh, my Instagram handle is at official Rachel Anthony, official mm. Rachel Anthony. Anthony, yeah. And I'm really only on Instagram. I'm not on any other platform. Oh, Maybe nice. TikTok, yeah. Oh. Same thing to official Rachel Anthony on TikTok. So, okay. So, guys, okay. Follow me so we can catch up. Definitely. And be a happy definitely. On definitely. <laughs> definitely. That's that's really yeah. how it is. Well, it's been good talking to you this morning, and we hope we Thank get to you know talk morning. again sometime in the nearest future to maybe talk about other things regarding uh, the industry. Okay. Yes, please. It was a pleasure being on. All right meet. there, all right there. Have a lovely morning, eh? Go and look for something to chop and be okay. <laughs> all right there, have a lovely one. Bye. <laughs> okay, we just finished our conversation with uh, Rachel Anthony, and uh, she's uh, an Hollywood actress, uh, a, com a commercial model, a businesswoman, a serial entrepreneur, if I should say so myself, a filmmaker as that too. And she has a movie coming out soon, and uh, her social media handle was out there. You can follow her to get all the details you need to get.